Well, we got a Hurricane Debbie. Right off the west coast of Florida. And we're about... We're maybe 35, 40 miles from the west coast of Florida. So... I'm watching that thing. I don't think we've got anything. We're getting some wind right now. Not much. But it's close. That, you know, I like Central Florida because we re don't really get Hit with a hurt. We've had a couple in the last 20 years. We had one come right. Oh, we had three. We had one come right over. The eye came right over us. And if you're in a hurricane and the eye passes over you, it's kind of weird the way that thing does. You 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 got all this wind and rain coming around and the wind blowing in one direction. And when the eye hits, all of a sudden it's calm. Nothing going on. And uh but when the other side of the wall of the eye hits, it starts up again and the wind going in the exact opposite direction. I've known some people had never been in a hurricane, didn't know squat about them. And the eye went over them, it got calm. They thought the thing was done. It's over, it's gone. But oh no, a lot of them got caught out in them things. And if it's real bad, you're in trouble. But I guess I could count on one of the hands. No, I can't do that. I, I, six or seven hurricanes that I've been in. Never been in a tornado and don't want to be. I'll take a hurricane any time. But uh, anyhow, got some good news. Thanks to some... Uh, some of my subscribers, I got enough money to put that order in for the, the computer. It is ordered. It should be here on Wednesday. And I'm just praying and hoping they're still putting that Windows Movie Maker on the old version. I would be so happy. <laughs> so happy. And I don't know, did I tell y'all I got somebody that's going to trade me a smaller wheelchair for my thick wheelchair that I can't get into my bathroom or my bedroom? Well, I've got somebody that's going to do that. And you know, hold on a minute. Oh, man. I just ate me a bowl of grits. I love grits. I wonder if they're bad for me. Her name is T. 
Tommy at Big Rock Tip. Be back Sunday, August 4. Well, I, it's been raining, so I couldn't get out to go over to get it, so I'm going to call her. But I really want that thing. That computer just go off. I'm going to get on this other computer and see if I can figure stuff out about that Windows 11. Because Windows 10, they're going to phase that out next year. And if I can get used to that Windows 11, I might as well try and do it. But that's what I want to do. I don't, I don't like it. I just soon keep Windows 10. But if they start quit updating Windows 10, um, I think it's sometime next year that they're going to do that. I wish my hearing aid would get here. I'm so sick of this. I'm going to call them tomorrow. See if they can. I have to give them my name and my last four. My last four is five, four, eight. I ain't supposed to get that out of them. <laughs> well, that's just the last four. Five, four, eight, five. Every time I go to the VA and I go to the window, what's your last for? So, I'm going to go to bed early tonight. I'm gonna put my, my daughter's going to trim my beard. She's going to cut it off in the morning plus we're going to social security i gotta get my medicare card but uh that's where i'm at on that i wish i had my driver's license that would be so nice but I'm just going to satisfy myself by just getting a state ID. Because, see, here's the thing. I want to open another bank account. But they got to have, well, my social, for sure. But they also got to have my, my driver's license or my state ID. And I don't have either one. And the reason I won't know for another account, I want an account that nobody can touch it but me. If the money goes in there, I swear it's going to stay, you know. Not that I don't trust them, but if they need it, they take it. Because it's not in my, it's in my account. But they have access to my social security and they just transfer it over, which I, I, I don't care. But I want, you know, $15 here, $20, I want it in an account that's just going to stay there and nobody can grab it. Um. And this is August, so next month I can appeal. I can appeal that uh, uh, 
die Menschen lösen den Tod an mich. Ähm, I come to the conclusions what got me demonetized was a part put a part of a clip of somebody else's video. It was a news video and it was copyrighted, I think. I think that's what it did. I don't know. But I've also deleted some other videos. And I'm gonna take and get rid of some more too. I've got over 1,500 videos that I've done. Uh, I'm going to start a I forget what you call it. It's where I pick out a bunch of videos that I wrote my favorite ones and I put them in another file and if somebody wanted to go uh, and look at all those videos and just click on that file and it'll play all of them one after the other. I forget what to call that. I wonder why that computer keeps it. Don't go off, it just the screen goes blank. I guess that's just power saving. I don't know. But I can't wait for Wednesday night to get my computer. Man, <laughs> I'm so happy about that. And I hope, I hope all this stormy clouds and stuff is gone tomorrow. Baby. It's supposed to go up and hit in the panhandle. That's up around Tallahassee and uh, what's that other city? I can't think of it. Panama City. But it's going up into Panhandle and on up into Georgia. So if y'all live in Georgia up there, you might get some of that. It might even get up into the Carolinas. I don't know. But I ain't too worried about it. I ain't too worried about it. But I, I was really want to get out today and get on my scooter and ride around a little bit. But when it's raining, like I look out there, it's clear. And 15 minutes later, it's stormy again. It like when them bands go around, it's clear one minute, and next minute it's it's stormy again. I hadn't seen any lightning with this. Sometimes we get lightning with it, but uh, yep, yeah, I'm going to bed early tonight. Oh. Uh, I was, look, my cat, I got this one cat. He's not fully grown yet. And he comes here and he sits right on this de my desk here. And he sits there and he looks at me. He just stares. And if I move, he moves his eyes, you know, moves his head a little bit. And I wonder what in the world is going on in his head when he does that. I wish I could know how that. I wish there was some way you could attach something to their head and something to my head. And I could read his thoughts, what he's thinking about. Oh. Um, But that that one that sits over like that, it's that white one. Uh, his name is Salt. He's got a sister named Pepper. She's a pepper color. Um, I wish we didn't have so many, but. I 
the only way they're going to go from here is to die. And they see the oldest cat we got is The oldest cat we got is Houdini, female, and she's fixed. She's probably seven years old. And the one next to her, as far as being the oldest, is Dahmer. And that's the cat that was in a litter. And somebody set him out in the weeds somewhere. And this guy was mowing and he'd run over them. Kill them all but but Dahmer. And he was still nursing. My daughter took him and she was bottle feeding that thing. But as he got older, he started Chasing, he chased his tail. I mean, he, he was hurt himself. Sometimes you hear him in the night, you get up and there'd be blood all over the place where he was biting himself and everything. And he had seizures. He hadn't had a seizure in a long time. Now, if I'm coming through the living room and he's sitting there on something and he sees me and if I stop and I put my hands out like this he comes running and jumps up on my lap and cuddles and he'll stay there as long as I as long as I'll let him. But I, I, I usually hold it about 20 minutes. It's like he's wanting some TLC or something. But he doesn't, he doesn't mess with the other cats. He don't interact with them or anything. And right now, uh, you can't see him, but he's up on my shelf over here. Hey, Tyler. Hey, baby. I could go over and get him. Let me see if he comes to me. I'll show him to you. Hey, John, Tom. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah. That's my baby. That's my baby. That's your daughter. He likes to cuddle. He don't do it with nobody else, but he does it with me. And he looks pretty ragged. He's got little stars all over him. But he'll start really purring here in a minute. But I'm the only one he does this with. He's a good boy. Yeah. My baby boy. Yep. He always, the whole litter was killed for that long war except him. And my daughter took him. And uh, let me help you with my hair right there. There you go. Don't you dig any paws in you now? Yeah. I sure love these cats, but we've just got two many. And they go through, I don't know how many pounds that bag weighs that she gets, but I think she goes through, goes through one of them a week. And she eventually have them all fixed. 
But that that veterinary clinic, they don't charge any fees. And you can take the cats over there and have them fixed. You can take them over there if they're sick. I don't know if it's best for dogs or not. I guess it would. I guess it would. And he's pretty. Look at it. It's my baby. Yes, it is. It's my little baby. But he sure likes to cuddle on me. Yeah. But sometimes he'll be sitting on the floor, and all of a sudden he'll start chasing his tail. And if I see him really getting wild, I'll go over there and call him, and he'll come up and jump on me, and he gets over. Good boy, yes, he is. His name is Dauber. He was named after that serial killer, Jeffrey Dauber. Because she said Jeffrey Dahmer was crazy and this cat crazy. And he is. I don't know why she hadn't ever took him to that vet to see if they could do something for him. There's probably some medicine they could give him about the seizures, but he don't, he don't have them much anymore. Yeah, I hear you, baby. He's growling a little bit. I don't know if you hear it or not. He does that too. Yeah, you stay here as long as I hold him. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yes, you are. He's a good boy. Yeah, he's probably a good boy. He's a good boy. But yeah, I wish there's some way I could know what they're thinking. And that other that come up here and what, and he just sit there and stare at me. It's I don't mind him sitting there as long as you don't start walking on the keyboard. And he likes to walk on the keyboard. And of course, that screws everything up. Uh, it's amazing how you get attached to these animals. It's a good boy. It's my favorite boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> I like to blow in his ear. <laughs> Say it, Fred. <laughs> Say, stop it, Paul. Oh, stop it, baby. Oh, I see another cat sitting over there on the table licking my bow. I had a bowl of grits and he's licking the bow. Or I was sniffing of it. That's Reese. That's Reese. He, he's gone. We ain't letting her out anymore. She wants to go out bad, but if she goes out, she'll find up locked up. She's done had 13 kittens. And we don't need no more of that. Yeah, it's a good boy. Now, this one here, he's been fixed. He's been fixed. He ain't got he ain't got no family jewels. But have y'all been watching this uh thing in the Olympics where they got these men? Masquerade as a woman, and they go in there and they're boxing the women, and they're destroying them. One woman, she couldn't, she she just forfeited it. That you can't. It, it, it's crazy, absolutely crazy. A combat sport between a man and a woman. The man's gonna win hands down every time. And they're beating the crap out of these women. Beating the crap out of them. It's not fair to the women. I hear you, girl, I baby. You all right? 
she was headed again. I said, I can't hear you. She, she has to get up off the bed and come up the steps before I can hear her. And my, my daughter, some people think she's taking advantage of me. But, you know, me and my wife raised her, and we raised my son, and we raised Donovan. Jennifer doesn't, have, doesn't even have a high school education. And that's partly my fault. Because one day when she's in about the 10th or about the 10th grade, the school called me. They said she's been missing too much unexcused days at school. And she's not there that day. And I'm like, what? She's not, no. And I told her some other day she missed. I said, well, she, she gets on the bus and she gets on the bus coming home. So I took off down to the school when it was time for school to let out and the bus sitting there. And I was waiting right there at the bus. I didn't pitch a big fit. But I made a mistake. I said, well, you missed so many days. So you obviously don't want to go to school no more. She was 17. So I yanked her butt out of school and made her go get a job. Big mistake. I handled that all wrong. Uh, and right now, she only makes, she's been at Walmart about six, six years, maybe seven. And she only, went, she only makes about $18, $19 an hour. Um, and they was gonna make a manager out of it, but she would She didn't want to. She did too much crap with that, and, and it is. It, uh, it's a pain in the butt to work at Walmart. Um. But she's got a full play. So I have to cut her a whole lot of slack. Because her and Donovan is keeping this household going. Of course, I help too, but you know, she gets my social security. And she helps out me sometime when I need something. Like her next payday, if I can't find my transfer cord to transfer stuff from this computer to my new computer that's on the way, I, I, I think it's in here somewhere. It could have got thrown out. Because I got rid of a lot of wires, but I don't think I would have thrown that away. But she's going to have to get me one if I can't find it. And I want to find my other hats, my veteran's hat, uh, my grandpa hat that the crazy family chief sent me, my hat that my brother gave me the last time he came. 
And he died, you know, just a few months ago. Boy, I miss talking to him. That's the only real brother I had. Him and Joe. Joe's dead. Now George is dead. Michael's alive, but he's uh, well, I won't talk about it. He had breast cancer. I didn't know men could get breast cancer. But he had to have surgery on his boobs. I checked mine every once in a while, see if I feel any lumps or anything. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I, <laughs> I got. I got some booze. I, I just gained weight, you know. It went there a lot of it. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I had one woman, a friend of my daughter's. Name was Nikki. I come through the house up for sure on one time. And she said, My God, you got more tips than I got. <laughs> and I said, No, I don't. And she didn't have a bra on and she jerked her shirt up. See? <laughs> I do. I had. <laughs> that was like a little nub or something she had. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> she was, that's a crazy lady. She's about 40. Sometimes when I was in the hospital, she'd come to the hospital to see me, and she's black. And some sometimes when there's nurses or something in the room or something, she's come over and pop a mouth kiss on me. I didn't like it, but what could I do? She liked to see the shock on the nurse's face. Sometimes I say, oh, we're getting married when I get out of here. <laughs> She didn't call her all now. I don't know how it works and what she went up there for. I don't know. Her mom was a teacher in Bermuda. I don't know much about Bermuda. I think that's a foreign country or something. But anyhow, Folks, my computer should be here Wednesday. And I'm going to see if I can get an appointment at the hearing aid that the audiology at the VA to see if they can do something about my hearing aid. I'm, I'm just tired of it. I can't, I sit, when I listen to anything on YouTube, I have to sit here like this. And that's getting old. And I can't go out and talk to nobody. Because uh, I can't hear them and I hate to say, huh, huh, huh. <laughs> Anyhow, folks, that's my story today and I'm sticking to it. And folks, uh, well, I'll do that when I do it live. Anyhow, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.